five reasons to find real estate wholesalers for your team yes other real estate wholesalers you need them on your team so today there's a question that came in that Hey my friend, this is Ola coming to you live from my Empire Pro Studios. I'm the author of Smart Real Estate Wholesaling and the creator of my EmpirePro.com. On this episode, we're talking about five reasons to find real estate wholesalers for your team. Yes, other real estate wholesalers, you need them on your team. So today there's a question that came in that absolutely inspired today's lesson. So let's dive in through the question right away. So the question goes, I have a deal with a buyer who has a VA home loan. So VA is for veterans, okay? Uh, it's a home loan that's designated for, for veterans, okay? Veterans meaning ex-soldiers, ex-military uh, people. Um, so he goes, uh, he has a realtor, a real estate agent representing him, but he needs the house sold very quickly. All right, so if a person has a, an existing agent, either they've listed the house or not bottom line is that they've told you that they have a relationship with an agent you need to be very aware of that okay there's nothing wrong with that but it can change the dynamics of how you relate with them okay so just keep that in mind uh, he needs to sell the house quickly ideally the agent should be good enough to help them sell the house quickly but keep in mind if they have an agent and they are outrightly telling you that you have an agent uh, the best next best thing to do is to ask hey let me have your agent contact and then I can just deal with them that way they will naturally feel like you know that, that will bring their fence down they will feel less they will feel like they they don't need to they will feel less defensive right but if you go like oh no no I don't want to deal with your agent or anything like that that will raise up red flags right so you want to see ahead of that and just be like hey let me have your contact the agent contact I don't mind I work with them directly if that's okay with you and if they say, if they back off from that, they say, no, 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 I just rather deal with you, then that's really what you want. But again, you want to use reverse psychology there, right? So, uh, but the key thing is that authentically is okay for you to actually work with the agent, okay? But more authentically, you need to make sure that all fences are down and all red flags are not visible, okay? So check this out. He goes, check this out. I need some creative ideas. Uh, here he has four bedrooms two bath two-story home next to a pond and sits on 23 acres of land with timber right he has two hundred and sixty thousand dollars left on his mortgage and wants three hundred thousand dollars okay so that's forty thousand dollars of equity space okay that's not really a lot on a four hundred thousand dollars home that's essentially Let's do the math real quickly. So we're looking at about, I'm doing the math right now. It's $40,000 on, uh, on $30,000. Yeah, you're looking at about 13%, okay? That's not a lot of space in terms of equity, okay? However, you want to. it doesn't really matter as long as they're motivated to sell. He can't park out the land. Is this deal, okay, so it goes, problem is, he has to sell all under the VA home loan. Okay, so when you're dealing with FHA, VA loan, or any government-backed loan, there will be some restrictions generally, and you should expect that, okay? But restrictions are restrictions for a reason. That means you need to learn something that will help you get rid of the restrictions or get around the restrictions without doing anything illegal, right? All right, let's keep going here. Uh, he can't part out the land. Is this deal dead in the water? No, there's no such thing as a dead deal Unless the the only thing that can kill a deal is a non-motivated seller. Okay, a natural seller. Okay uh, If they're not in control of the property, that means they're not the real seller But if they're the real seller, they're in control of the property The only thing that can kill a deal is a non-motivated seller. Just keep that in the back of your mind. Okay? I would try to hard money the home to get the land and then try to sell the home with five acres and move to sell the remaining acres to some potential buyers. Well, you're talking about subdivision. It's not the easiest things to do. You need a professional who is experienced to do things like that. And in order for them to be subdividing home, you have to do proper value 
uh, value estimation of what, what is the value like if you divide up the property or what if, what if you had it together and that takes also some pre-approval and approval at the city level and things like that basically things that if you're a complete newbie you don't even want to worry about that because majority of your deals are not going to be anything like that so focus where majority of your deals are going to come from the cookie cutter type of deal meaning deals you don't have to subdivide you don't have to do anything crazy you can just uh, sign a contract and assign the contract to other people and collect your money and keep it going if you have a free flow of that coming in on a regular then you can start thinking about out of the box type of scenarios like subdivision so i would definitely say no don't worry about this kind of craziness or you can assign it to a more experienced person and let them deal with the person if they are experienced in that area okay but it's not as simple as just start dividing up properties and stuff like that so but i will need some hard money lenders and a lot of creativity exactly so a lot of creativity means listen wholesaling and real estate investing is already as creative as it gets you do anything extra beyond that it gets very very nasty will that work can it work yes i'm just telling you don't get soaked up into one piece of data one lead it's not worth it okay it's not worth it so with that being said now this is the reason why you may need other wholesalers other investors in your corner because they may just be experienced enough to take this lead away from you and then deal with it and then pay you five months down the line because again you need a pipeline okay now speaking of pipeline let's talk about the five things I have a full-blown article on what I'm about to share with you the five reasons to find real estate wholesalers for your team number one accountability partners you need someone to hold you especially if you're new you know life gets in the way habits bad habits you know if it's not bringing in money immediately there's no real reason to come back every day you know so you need accountability partners number two foots on ground if you are in wholesaling right now post pandemic you should understand there's no such thing as a non-virtual wholesaling everything is virtual okay you should be able to do deals anywhere in the united states okay so you need foots on ground in this other states so you need that's another reason why you want to have them on your on your team number three mastermind you know just one mind is not enough mastermind is necessary for success in this business sometimes it's not exactly from a from a mentor it's from other people just like you okay number four network okay and you build your network you build your network that just simply means you have that much more additional resources at your disposal and if you build your network number five you have a better chance of increasing your net worth okay so those are the five reasons but i break this down into a little bit more pieces you can see the link in the bottom of the screen to take you to the blog post so you can read the full-blown article you can download it now if you're brand new here if you're first time here make sure you go to smart real estate wholesaling and download this book absolutely free and if you go there right now i'll give you real estate money secrets for free in addition to that hopefully you've been enlightened and educated i'll see you on the next one and peace